So our new uh, 2023 optical range features eight new main styles and each of them uh, come in three different colors. Uh, so we have our bioplastic frames, but we also have our recycled alloy frames. We're developing our ranges each year. We're broadening them. We're thinking about the colors and the styles. This range is really based on the feedback that we've been getting from our stockers, from our opticians. Um, so it's really thinking about what the consumers want, what are the styles, what are the colors, and what's the story behind them. We spent a lot of time uh, with the colors and the shapes and also we do a lot, a lot with natural dyes. So these are all using natural dyes which gives them a really kind of soft and nice gentle natural color. Something that's a bit different. The response we've been getting so far has been really really good. We're really excited about this new range. It's a low carbon range and we've managed to create uh, frames that have a very low carbon footprint. So all of our frames, they have a rough and average carbon footprint that's around 113 grams of CO2 per frame, which is about the same as using your phone for an hour, similar kind of carbon footprint. But we've only managed to achieve that by working with our partners, developing the material, looking at our entire supply chain, from the raw material to how it's made, to how it's shipped, and then like how we process it. And um, yeah, all of those things add up to just a much better product. In terms of target market, it's the kind of people who are looking for something different. They're looking for something that's edgy, something that is sustainable. But when I say sustainable, not kind of quotation mark sustainable. They're looking for something that is through and through, has sustainability built into its core. For us as a business, like we're really about um, kind of championing, championing that right from the kind of raw materials through the supply chain and how we run the business and the end product which is our beautiful birds as a brand we're really interested in our frames in our products but we're also interested in our local community and how we interact uh, with our lo local community so we've been working with our local council on various innovation uh, projects and that's enabled us to bring manufacturing back to the uk and to develop the use of recycled material in Devon to create a closed loop. Um, so that's been really good. And um, we've also been, we've also started planting our own bird forest this year, which is great because that adds towards our lowering of our carbon footprint and our carbon sequestering. So over the next 18 months, we're planting 10,000 trees locally. Um, so around Exeter and around Devon. And uh, yeah, for us, it's a great way to connect with our community, connect with our local council, local businesses. And, you know, we're inviting people to come on planting days with us. Um, so yeah, it, it, it all adds up to just a bigger, better picture. I would really recommend practices get more involved with their sustainable brands and ask them the questions behind the materials, behind the frames, what is it that makes them sustainable, that makes them eco-friendly, that makes them more ethical? Because I think consumers now are really interested in that kind of stuff. They're interested because it matters, because it makes a difference on what's happening with the environment as well. Um, so yeah, and for us, you know, we provide all of that information up front, which makes all of our stockists like really happy because they're able to uh, relay that to their customers who yeah, in turn really enjoy that and they can talk about that to their friends as well. And at the end of the day, it's about feeling good in a pair of frames. So understanding why you feel good wearing a pair of frames uh, makes it even better.